Hey everyone, this is Master Geo here with my review of Mezco's King Kong of Skull Island action figure. This figure is based on the classic look of King Kong from the classic 1933 fantasy horror movie King Kong, which is considered by many to be one of the greatest genre films of all time. Yours truly agrees it's one of my personal favorites and it's one of the movies that got me into horror movies and monsters to begin with all right let's start with taking a look at the box at the top we've got the king kong of skull island logo and you can see the action figure and its accessories on the visible window let's turn to the side the back of it. There are some cool poses which show off the different faces and uh, ways you could pose your action figure. And of course the accessories. Let's look at the other side. The bottom. Alright. Enough of the box. Let's get to opening up this bad boy. And checking it out. Alright, so here we've got Kong out of the box with his accessories. Let's take a good look at him. Now let's look at the accessories. We have an alternate head with him looking really pissed off. An Andaros figure. Guessing that this one is based on the original Scream Queen Fay Ray. Three sets of hands, two fist and one semi-closed, and two shackles. Articulation with him is the head which moves side to side. Arms move up and down. It's very tight on his shoulder joints, so I haven't been able to open it up in any manner. Even though, as you can see, there is a joint. It's tight. I don't feel like forcing it too much. Elbows move fully around. He can also bend his elbows. We have waist articulation side to side, and there is also joint articulation on the legs, but again, it's very, very tight, and it's only possible to move it a slight bit. There is knee movement. The knees have joints in them. The figure stands up quite well, which is great because you'll want to pose him and have him sitting on your shelf or where, or your desk or wherever it is you're going to put him. The detail on him is amazing. Just look at that face, every wrinkle on him, the hair, they really went out all out on him. He is a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. And this might be the be-all, end-all of King Kong figures, particularly in how good it looks. The plastic is hard, it's sturdy, he's quite heavy, actually. You could probably knock someone out with this, but why would you want to ruin your figure? The hands are very easy to snap off. So you can interchange, you can see the bald socket there. That's where you'll be putting in the other hand that you wish. The hands are very easy to snap on and here you'll see him with his fists ready to punch and bash things. This is a cool little uh, set of hands you can use. Now let's try the other hand. Here you can see the 
semi-opened hand, which is going to be on his right side only, so maybe you could do like one semi-open, one fist, or the uh, hands that we saw earlier. So here he is holding and Darrow's on his left hand. She fits best on the left hand where he can grip her pretty well and hold her nice and tight. She looks very cool. She's obviously in her scared position as I would imagine anybody would be being held by a giant ape who has a crush on you. The head also pops off very easily on this. So, it's got another ball joint, and that's where we're going to put our screaming and pissed off Kong head. Which looks very cool. Look at the detail. Right down to the jaws and mandibles. This is a badass looking figure. There he is with his angry head. I think this is my preferred face for Kong. And this is probably how I'm going to keep him and display him. All right, now let's put on those shackles. Here they are, they are made of plastic. Although the actual chain seems to be a very light metal. They're great looking. Love the detail on these. The markings makes it look a little worn and old, possibly rusty. The best way to put these shackles on seems to be to take off the hand and then put them with shackle at the bottom of the wrist and then snap everything on. They look very cool. Love the real chain that's used. Uh, like I said, it's lightweight, but it looks cool. And he's ready. This is such an awesome figure. I love it. And there you have it. That is the King Kong of Skull Island from Mezco Toys. This is a gorgeous figure. Like I said, some of the articulation is a little tight. But it's fine. Detail is amazing. The accessories that come with it are very cool. He looks great displayed. And he is a must for any fan of classic horror and monsters. He'll look great in your collection. If you're into movies like King Kong and all the other classics of the golden age of horror or just a fan into giant monsters or monsters in general, then this is definitely something you will want to add to your collection. It is one of the best figures to come out last year, although it kind of came out towards the end, and some stores and some comic books places and specialty shops may have only have gotten him in this month. Regardless, he's one of the best of last year, and if you want to count him for this year, I suppose you could. Regardless, either way, great figure, must own. All right, this is Master Geo signing off. Till next time. Bye.